Hey everybody, Nick Licamelli here. Today we're talking about the hack squat. The hack squat is one of my favorite leg exercises. However, it's not for everyone, especially if someone doesn't know how to properly squat. Here's why. Let's get into it. I absolutely love the hack squat as a way to really overload the quads in a great quad dominant closed chain squat variation. It's very controlled and you can really get into a nice deep squat and put some nice overload on the quads. It's a very secure position. So going to failure on something like this wouldn't be quite as dangerous as going to absolute failure on something like a back squat or a front squat. So the hack squat is a great way to induce some metabolic stress if that's the goal. Because if you do reach failure, you can always just squat all the way down and rest the weight. I don't think the hack squat is a good exercise if you're trying to train a proper squat because it doesn't allow us to train a neutral spine, a proper hip hinge, and proper force distribution throughout the legs, which makes it a very quad dominant exercise. By nature of the setup and the movement, the hack squat makes it very difficult to train those three things. So let's talk training a neutral spine first. By nature of the setup, I'm in a neutral spine already. This makes it a great first step for someone who can't quite find a neutral spine, but it makes it hard to challenge it because as I descend, it's relatively easy to keep that neutral spine. Again, if someone is having problems finding that neutral spine, this is a great way to do it because all you have to do is make sure they don't round their back or tuck their tailbone. It's a great first step to teach what a neutral spine actually feels like. But once they have that neutral spine, this ball is gonna act like a crutch. And they're not gonna have a ball behind their back when they go to squat to pick something up off the floor. Next is the hip hinge. The proper hip hinge is gonna teach me to push my hips back and then squat down. The hack squat is not allowing me to properly hip hinge because all I'm really doing is pushing myself back into the sled. The last thing is quad dominance. What I'm doing, I'm basically doing a knee extension against the floor. And I really don't have to engage my glutes. So by nature of the movement, it's very quad dominant. Same thing with a wall sit. A wall sit, I'm basically just isometrically performing a knee extension. So if the wall were taken out from behind me, my legs would shoot forward into knee extension. Whereas a squat, and a proper squat, I don't need anything behind me. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want, and we'll see you next time.